Full reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Fairly Odd Parents, a new wish episode 16 of season one. Potazel, Potazel, don't know what that means. The Haunting of Wells House. And presses, <laughs> precious, precious play, press play on the timer. When I press play, when the timer re press, ah! press play on your copy. When I press play, when the timer reaches zero, I did all that perfectly. Went to the city, feeling all alone. Till a whole life changed with a pair quite strange. Cause in reality, they are her new. <laughs> I, I screw it up because of the original Fairly Odd Parents intro. Doom and gloom up in his room is broken instantly. By his magic little fish who grant his every wish. Cause in reality, they are his odd parents. Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> Yeah, it might be a language thing there. Not sure. What is it? It looks like tomatoes, which I don't like either, but... <laughs> really? You don't even have a dog! But, in this case, not quite the goal. Yeah, you were kinda, you, you were kinda milking that. Look, I, yeah, I don't like tomatoes either, but yeah, that chicken does look a little sus. <laughs> I love asparagus, though, so... Picky child! I understand. You can, unfortunately. What? Was it good? What's the title again now that I see? Potato, 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 I get it, potato, 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 potato. Okay. God, I think there are foods that I could eat for so many meals I'd get sick of eventually, of course, but french fries, I don't, I don't get, even as if I was still a little kid, that obsession with that particular one. Not what I thought that meant. Okay. Look, if we're gonna turn Fairly Odd Parents into a musical show, can we use those musical numbers rare that they are for something other than French fries? It's similar in spirit. God, all the grease did it to you. You became a potato. <laughs> 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 
Pataza Patazel. Sushi is probably the meal I could eat pretty much every meal for a long while before I got sick of it. Huh. How long until it reverses? It's a magical transformation. That oh-so-helpful book! Is it smaller than it used to be? I swear it used to be much larger as a book. Is everything getting delegated these days? No wonder you two are happier now. <laughs> sure. Unfortunately. I mean, if we're still talking about the French in this episode, sure. a while since I've watched a show that that was this a, a kid's show mind you obviously adult shows this is less often in the first place but a kid's show that was this worried about having a lesson in every episode Beautiful. <laughs> Good God. No. Right? She's really packing in her Timmy Turner level mistakes. She's gonna be like, what are you talking about? I'm just kicking you out. I'm putting this, uh, you're a child, this is 75% Cosmo and Wanda's fault. And Marie Antoinette, no! Ooh. 
Really? Mother Nature stopped it. Meh, meh. <laughs> You're a little too on board with it, Hazel. We're sorry we didn't worry, warn you about the consequences is a, a lesson they really need to take to heart. So to speak. <laughs> All right, that was funny before that, that, that end line. That just made it weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I love how her pupils dilated there. God, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I forget about them being across the hall. Is it okay to have it be a fairy starred movie? Great. Ah, oh, come on. No, those look pretty good. No, wait! I mean, you live in a major city, right? So, it's probably the electric grid. I get that it's parodying Ghost Hunters, but hey, we can call it a Gravity Falls parody, right? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> we can make that happen. <laughs> Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <laughs> nice. What's names are unimportant. Bring me peppers. <laughs> no autograph. Maybe not a good idea. Really? Is it? Yes. Also spicy. I believe it. I've seen fairies take a lot of punishment, so <laughs> you must not have ever had a very high constitution. <gasps> I mean, it hasn't been that long in fairy terms. That's good. Are you seeing the problem here? <laughs> I love the, the, the scream. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> How easy that was! I wish Hazel looked more concerned in that particular <laughs> mashup. American Gothic Cosmo and Wanda edition. You were easy enough to convince, all right. What? <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, puns. <laughs> okay, so he's pretty. Jorgen von Strangle. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, right. This is awesome. <laughs> I mean, this this time really isn't Cosmo and Wanda's fault, per se. This might be one of this might be my favorite Jorgen scene in either show. We exercise the priest. No. She's fun. Oh, why? How come? What's up? <laughs> right. <laughs> Why, Jorgen? <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, Potato Potaza was fine. <laughs> the haunting of Wells House was fantastic. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. I really love when it's just one dumb idea that they bring to the extreme next time. <laughs>